Hey Husky fans, welcome into Huskies All Access. I'm Chris Jones. We're with Associate Head Coach Jeff Horgan of the baseball team as we're closing in on the 2020 season. Let's talk a little bit about the Fedco brothers. Uh, both of them just look uh, much different from a physical standpoint. Kyler has just dropped down some of that weight. Christian as well. Yeah. Kyler's one of your returning outfielders. What are you expecting to see from, from those two? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stay with Kyler uh, with the outfield theme, but Kyler uh, is a kid that came in here, very talented kid, had a really good freshman year. Um, you know, if you look at numbers, you might say, well, he's around 250 with five home runs, but that's impressive to me for, for a freshman that, that played through some injuries. Uh, you play in one of the top conferences in the country, uh, and, and we asked Kyler to really work on uh, just getting, getting quicker. Uh, he already had speed. Uh, but he was focusing so much on getting strong and getting bigger uh, that he was losing some of that explosiveness, we thought. Uh, and he, he's done such a great job. Uh, one of the fastest guys on our roster, uh, played in the Cape Cod League, and literally I think he can play every outfield position from left field, center field to right field. Uh, his bat is continuing to get better. Um, he's going to have the ability to steal some bases. You know, I think we lost three guys that had in the teens and stolen bases, so I expect Kyler to be a guy that can be a threat on the bases, not only with his, with his bat. So really excited about Kyler's progress. Uh, Christian Fedko, um, another guy that just brings a lot of life to the team. Um, you know, infielder, plays DH a little bit, but um, those two guys are just super confident players, you know, and it just oozes off them, especially Christian, uh, if, if you're around him enough, but a great teammate. Uh, both, both are great teammates, and um, I'm expecting Christian to make another jump this year. Uh, he, you know, he went from being the rookie of the year, his freshman year, uh, I think he led the conference in walks last year. It was a big emphasis for us of patience. Uh, now I'm asking Christian for more. You know, I want him to be a more consistent hitter, and, and I feel like he's he's working in that direction. So I'm looking for big things from those two. You guys have been fortunate to have uh, Chris Winkle over at, at first base, the Condor, who can get pretty much <laughs> pretty much anything with his length. What is the infield going to look like, especially at first base, now that Chris is going to make the shift out towards uh, towards center field? Yeah, we, well, Chris obviously uh, for all our fans, I mean, he's a uh, He's an outstanding first baseman. I mean, literally, if you throw it over his head, it was one of the worst throws. <laughs> I mean, he can jump, uh, he can pick it. Uh, you know, I don't know how many times he caught line drives last year, diving, uh, making plays. I think South Florida had a, a big one at the end of the game. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move him out to center field. Uh, and, and the reason we're doing that is we have some other options over there that we think they can really play. Um, you know, I think Chris is gonna do just great out there. He, he focused a lot every fall in his career on outfield play. Uh, but Reggie Crawford right now is a, is a, you know, a newcomer for us that can pitch. Uh, he's got really soft hands over first base. A lefty, all right, so it looks a little bit more natural having a nice uh, left-handed first baseman. Um, and he's a big target as well. We're almost there, we're almost there. First weekend MLB four tournament out in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's only against Cal Poly, number one Vanderbilt, and number eight Michigan. So the Huskies will have some tough competition right. to start the year. Thanks so much, Jay. Thank you, Jonesy.